So what happens in aviation, right? So when you you're you have your your gyroscopic um, instruments, your stuff that needs, you know, airflow that comes from your pitot tube or your pitot mast, things like that. Mine's went haywire and I don't think it was blocked. Right. So one of the things that I have to make sure that I do when I do my walk around is remove that. That is a pitot mast for a piper. Um, Cherokees have a pitot tube uh, and that was removed and I didn't have any blockages. It was working up until takeoff, took off. We were good up until the point where we got over um, close to over the water and then everything went haywire. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, I just didn't, it did come back. It did come back. Um, my altimeter was showing me a false reading as far as my altitude and my attitude indicator was showing a crazy attitude, but I wasn't in a crazy attitude. So when I made a left turn to come back towards the airport and I'm halfway in between at this point, in between Newport News and KPVG at that point, I just decided to turn back around and come home uh, just to be on the safe side of things. So I'm always going to play it safe. Always. So I came back home. Um, so now... I probably have an hour's worth of solo and I still have to do the flight to Newport News to finish up my requirements. So it's going to take a little bit longer than I thought, but I will get there eventually.